Dobre den. Dobre den. And welcome back to Bulgaria. Yep, we've definitely had a better week this week, haven't we? A much more productive week. Weather's been improving. It's been good all round. Yeah. So we've done a mixture of indoor and outdoor jobs. Yes. And uh, spring has definitely sprung in the garden. Yeah, we've got a, a little montage of photos Lynn's taken of plants and flowers and things. <laughs> So we continue work on the little barn, the old barn, what are we, whatever we're calling it these days. We took down the brick wall this side. We took down the big wall that we left last week, some of the roof, the support, well, in, you can see from these pictures. Um, it's slowly coming down. This is the bit we're removing. We're going to leave just the main structure of the barn, which will then, will make weatherproof. Um, once we've got it weatherproof, we can leave it till next year, but... We want something to renovate next year rather than just have it collapse on us because we haven't done any work on it. We've also done work indoors. Yep, Adam's been continuing in the cellar and we've now got all the plaster chipped off the walls in there. Yep, I've just got to now clean the mud out from between each stone and then repoint it. <laughs> Not much then. That'll be the walls, then I've got the floor to do. And then the ceiling. <laughs> and the other big job we did this week was to clear what is Max's room? Or our room. And what was our tool shed. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've cleared that so we can start ripping that room apart. So that's all ready to go. We're waiting for a bit of bad weather to do that. Um, or when it's really hot outside because the, it's staying nice and cool inside. So uh, it'll be easier to work in the cool. Yeah, we've now reorganised the garden shed, which has become your now tool shed. It has. And I have approximately two foot square of garden space. That's all you need. You've got two barns. <laughs> We've also started emptying the hayloft in the little barn. Yes, that's remarkably compact hay. Uh, <laughs> it's taking a lot of effort to actually get it down. But we but, did we did use some of it for our new potato bed. Yes, we built a potato bed um, and this is what we did. We've been making leaf mould from the leaves from the walnut tree all winter, but we've decided this is the ideal position for our raised potato bed. So first things first, we have to move the leaves. It's a little laborious shoveling all the leaves into the wheelbarrow, but it's the only way to get them to our new compost bins. We've built these out of recycled parts we removed from the little barn. They were doors, they were partitions. We've kept them as intact as possible and used them as kind of panels to make these compost bins. The idea is you start at the left and as stuff decomposes it moves along to the right. Once it finishes in the end one it's ready to use. Now that the leaves are out of the way I can make the holes to put the poles in that will support our raised bed. I'm doing this with an auger and we're using branches that we've got from the wood processing. The branches are placed into the hole I'm putting stones around them to help support them and then backfilling with sand. This should keep them in position so that we can build the cage. We will be using some recycled chain link fencing so it needs to be fairly secure, fairly sturdy and able to take its weight. This is the empty cage for the potato bed. It will close up at the front once we start filling it up. Once the potatoes are ready for harvesting we can undo the front and just take them out. The bottom layer needs to be lined with straw before we start putting the earth in. We also need to build it up around the sides. This stops the earth from coming out. Once we get a six inch layer of dirt and compost, we can start to plant the seed potatoes. On the lower levels, these are placed near the edges. This is because they will grow out to the sides rather than up. We then layer more straw, more soil, more potatoes, more straw, more soil, more potatoes, until we have three or four layers the top layer having potatoes all across the top. We then top it off with a layer of straw. We'll keep you updated with progress on this bed and compare it to a traditional potato bed. On the bird watching front, our storks are still providing great entertainment mm. and watching them flying backwards and forwards to the nest. Yeah. And we also saw our first mustering of storks. We did. In the, on the field behind us in the common, um, there must have been over a dozen. Oh, easily, yes. Just yeah. flying round in circles. Yeah. It was really quite spectacular to watch. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So Stopped work for a good 15 minutes while we watched the stalks. <laughs> Any excuse. <laughs> 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 yes, the lockdown restrictions are being lifted. Um, stuff is opening up. 
So we're planning another trip to Targovishti. That'll yeah. be our second trip out this year. <laughs> yeah, this will be the second next week. Mm. Yeah, we're planning to um, fill it in with all the other jobs. Um, yes, we're running short of, of cash for the local shop, so. Yeah. There's no ATM in the village, so uh, we have to go to Targovishti to draw money out. Yeah. Um, but we'll continue with the jobs we're doing, the, the barn, the cellar. We even might bring down Max's ceiling. Um, well, not his ceiling, but <laughs> the one in the room that was going to be his. <laughs> See how we get on with that. Yeah. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> and in between, I'm sure we'll find time for relaxing. Oh, yeah. Uh, the hammocks came out this week. Well, mine did. Lindsay's still in her rucksack. Um, but we found the perfect spot for hanging the hammocks. Um, and our little woodland campsite. So hopefully that won't take too much of our time relaxing. We'll get the work done. <laughs> <laughs> we also have, in other news, um, our election seemed, was went ahead, but we can't really quite work out what happened. Yeah. Because the person that won can't form a government. And says he's resigning as says prime he's resigning minister and then he's not resigning um, and, and apparently say, he's done this before yeah. we don't know it's all very confusing <laughs> they definitely have some form of proportional representation here yeah. um so it's all a bit up in the air at the moment as to where the political thing is going but most likely things seems to be another election in autumn okay so, so yeah so we're no really better off we don't know any more on the election in bulgaria no it seems fairly inconclusive so yeah, so that's about it from us this week. Um, we'll be back again next week doing the same thing in the same place. Yep, thank you to everybody that subscribes and comments. Absolutely. It's quite amazing, really. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll continue putting these things up. If you want to watch them, please do. <laughs> but in the meantime... Doskoro. Doskoro. And uh, we'll see you next week. Stay safe. Take care. Bye. Bye. He can't breathe, he's real out of breath. <laughs> then don't. <sighs> We're waiting for a boot. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about there. Okay, if it's not in the video, you didn't say it. Just say no. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs>